Preliminary Autopsy Result Found No Sign of Tromer or An Obvious Cause of Death in the Case of 18 Year Old Lucio Camray, Who Was Found Dead in the Backyard Swimming Pool of An Anarchy by Wild Kigan Home on Monday, Lake County Coroner Dr. Howard Cooper said the autopsy conducted Friday, Review No Sign of Beating or Other Major Tromer on the Wild Kigan Resident Body that would lead to a conclusion of foul play at this time, Cooper said it is possible that toxicology reason expected in two to three weeks may set more light on camera cause of death. We will continue with this investigation as a death investigation in an attempt to determine what happened regarding the victim death and how he ended up at the location where he was found. While Keegan Police Deputy Chief Ketzupek said after the autopsy reason was released, while Keegan activist Julie Contreras, who has been acting as a spokeswoman for Camry relative set up after having received new that the autopsy so no sign of beating or trauma family member are glad he did and suffer in that manner but Contreras just said the family still believe there is something suspicious about the death we still believe there is an inference of impropriety based on information received by the family from the community and passed along to police. Contreras said, Contreras said a public memory or service will be held at 11 giờ trưa Sunday at Our Lady of Suyapa Sanctuary in Waukegan, where she served as pastor, located at 117N, Genesis ST. It is also the location of the League of United Latin American citizen of Lake County of Office Contreras said she plan to pick up Camry mother who has been granted an emergency visa in Texas on Monday and bring her to Waukegan where she will talk to official and then return with her son body to Mexico. Camry was reported missing on Christmas Day leading to organized searches by police, local volunteer family and friends before his body was found early Monday morning by Waukegan of Officer working on the gate on Wednesday, Cooper announced that the body found in the pool was positively identified as Camry. Camry cousin Becky Rodan Camry said her husband now who spoke at a new conference Wednesday thanking everyone who had helped with the search. Me husband said he was sorry for everything that happened, but he wanted to thank all the people that reached out with information and help in the search last Sunday. She said we want that that is according to Contreras, the last time Camry was seen before he disappeared was on Christmas Day, when he and friend gave his girlfriend a ride home and on their way back he decided to get out of the friend vehicle ABP service. Station at Grand Avenue and Jackson Street he did not tell his friend where he was going, just that he had to do something. According to Contreras, Camry body was found in the backyard pool of an unoccupied residential building in the 1300 block of N. Jackson Street. It is about a dozen block from where Contreras said Camry was last seen. The home has been unoccupied since a woman was fatally injured in a fight day in December. According to Contreras, Camry has a sister in Waukegan and lives with a surrogate family. Contreras has the dad bought up his parents like in Mexico and fundraiser set up to Ray Fantos and Camry body to his parents in Mexico has surpassed 1,000 dollars Mỹ gold this week. The picture was loaned by Vicente Ruiz of Texas with the heading he was taken. From US one of Camry relative in Waukegan, confirmed that it was set up to benefit the Camry family. The post stated that devastating new came to us declaring his body was the one found at the scene he come to you now with all the pain in me heart on behalf of his family and everyone that loved him to ask for help. Now we have a mother without his son and our main girl is to send him back so both his parents can see him one last time. Freelance Reporter Yadira Sanchez Ocean C-O-N-T-R-I-B-U-T-E-D-Z-A-N-E-W-T-O-N-A-C-O-N-T-R-I-B-P-U-B-C-O-N-T-W-I-T-T-E-R-A-C-O-N-J-I-M-N-E-W